Hi, in today's video, we're going to show you how to change the background image on your new Kenwood radio. So stay tuned. So, a lot of you like to change the image on your radio to something that's more aesthetically pleasing to the car. Maybe something that says the type of car you have, in case you forgot. It happens. Yes, you like. So, how do you do it? Well, the first thing is you are going to need a USB thumb drive. Um, most of them will work. We use SanDisk. It's just what we use. The second question we get asked a lot is, can I just take an image off my phone and put it on the radio? Fortunately, no. You do have to use a thumb drive. Now, what does my image need to be? That is a good question. What size? What size? You yes, tell me. tell me. And also needs to be in a JPEG format. So go ahead and load that into your thumb drive. Put it in a folder that says photos. Um, or just make sure it's the only thing on the uh, thumb drive. Yes. Also, make sure it's formatted to FAT32. Sometimes these things have a really hard time with Macs, even though they do a much better job at creating imagery. Hmm. So if you're having a hard time and you're using a Mac, get a buddy with a Windows machine and use that. Okay, so with that being said, uh, you're going to want to plug it into the cable that says the iPod, iPhone on it. Go ahead and plug it in. Uh, let's get to the demo. So if we're in the home screen here, I'm going to go ahead and click the menu icon. We're going to go to Setup. We're going to go to display. We're going to go to backgrounds. We're going to go where it says user one select. The image that is on the thumb drive will pop up. Go ahead and select it. Now on some of the radios, like this particular one, you can have two images saved. Two images. Now from here, you can flip it, smack it up, rub it down. Oh, I think I need a body bag. We'll click enter. And we're pretty much done at this point. We'll go ahead and exit out of here. So now we've saved this image to our background wallpaper. Background here. There's where the second image would be located. And that's it. Really the hard part is just getting the image onto the thumb drive. Once you've managed to tackle that, getting it into the radio is pretty simple. Uh, like I said, you can do on most of these two images. Some of the smaller models, it's only one. I've, I've just used two. Never. Wrap it up, of course. Okay. All right, so thank you for watching. You guys can find us on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. And as usual, we really appreciate you guys watching. Uh, please subscribe. It means a lot to Fernando. Yes. Uh, if you have a question about this, feel free to ask in the comments, and we'll get back to you. Otherwise, you guys have a great night, and we'll see you later next time. Bye.